Thank you very much uh, for the Hirschberg Foundation. What I've learned is never forget about the goals of medicine, prevention of disease, which you know, we try to, to do, and injury, which is very important that we do too much you know, harm to our own body, promotion of and maintenance of uh, health, relief of pain and suffering, care and cure of those with a malady, but for sure care of the person who cannot be cured. And there are very few cures you know, in medicine. Avoidance of premature death and the pursuit of a peaceful death. Health is not just a physical aspect of health, but mental, psychosocial, spiritual uh, balance. I think it's very important that for, for sure we need to always remember how to actually get the balance within the person, the balance within the family, and obviously society, and also the environment. Really try to have the whole person assessment, really understanding the person, not just the genetic makeup, but also you know, their upbringing, how they you know, uh, really lead their life, and how they sleep, how they exercise. And we also prognosticate you know, in what way you know, this approach may be able to help, how long it takes to, you know, to treat this patient. And basically, we emphasize self-help. So what is complementary alternative medicine? But basically, it's diagnosis and treatment and prevention which complements mainstream medicine, which I will call Western medicine, by contributing to a common whole by satisfying a demand not met by orthodoxy or by diversifying the conceptual framework of medicine. We also have a program not just for cancer, but also for many types of autoimmune diseases, inflammation. So in a sense, you can say different type of process is a constant battle except between the noxious stimuli and the endogenous resistance. Any factor, any factor, no matter how seemingly indirect, that increase the amount of noxious stimuli and or decrease endogenous resistance can accelerate the disease processes. So the cancer process is a local growth and uh, is a manifestation of a larger, larger problem. And a systems approach is needed in the overall treatment of the patient with cancer or you know, other diseases. So the goal of Chinese medicine is to try to look at what, where is the imbalance? First in the whole environment, and then within the individual person, and also you know, how to you know, improve flow, and how to individualize the therapy, focus on enhancing the body's endogenous resistance in the Western term is that how do you have the body have more reserve to adapt to whatever they are getting confronting with. So it's a less emphasis on specific causal factors because that's what we're trying to always try to find. But, but most problems are multifactorial, many, many factors that lead to the problem. So acupuncture, most people say, I don't want to get acupuncture, I worry about needles. But acupuncture to me is a concept, okay? It's how do you give a stimulus to the body that would then you know, let the body to mount a, a healing response, what we call how the body re-regulates itself, okay? So it doesn't have to be needles. You can use acupressure, use your hand. In our clinic, we use different ways to teach people how they can, when you are not well, different parts of the body will be you know, tight and sensitive. And by virtue of removing that, you know, uh, we can actually add, you know, make people sleep better, have less pain, less nausea, and also less type of disease. The way to use Chinese herbal medicine in the most appropriate way is to have a diagnosis based on the Chinese sort of type of approach, have uh, this uh, guide, the selection of herbs, and, and if the herbs already have some sort of uh, pharmacological studies to show its value in attacking different pathophysical processes, then it will be a good east-west way of using herbal medicine. Massage, we all know that it's very, very soothing, but in the right hands, massage can be very useful to treat different type of conditions. And uh, again, it depends on people who are medically trained to do it. Uh, tai Chi Qi Gong uh, improve uh, the immunity. And also other research has found it's decreased in fall. And uh, it uh, in enhances muscle strength and stress reduction. And basically, uh, allow the person to have you know, a, a, a better quality of life. Acupuncture, massage, Tai Chi, uh, dietary therapy are very, very safe and simple and can be easily incorporated, not just for the, for the patient, but also for the patient's suff, you know, uh, loved ones who are also suffering enormous amount of stress and that uh, also may have their different type of diseases activated. Thank you very much.